Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video. For today, I'm going to be doing something I haven't done in so long. It has been such a long time since I've sat down and made my paper pumpkin with you guys. I feel like people, um, some people love these videos, some people don't. That's kind of why I stopped making them, but um, I figured for today, you know what, let's go ahead, jump back into it. Um, for those of you that are subscribed to Paper Pumpkin, I think it's fun. I like to at least sit down and watch somebody else make it. We can kind of make it together, see how each other does it. I personally love doing that. So I figured for today, why not? Let's give it a try and see what happens. So um, I have not opened this as you can see. So let me go ahead and open it. While I'm opening this, I did want to let you guys know that they're, um, part of the reason that I wanted to make this is because there is, um, we do have a current paper pumpkin promotion going on right now, which is um, for new paper pumpkins, pu bleh, paper pumpkin <laughs> subscribers. So if you've never tried out paper pumpkin before, um, and you want to, you can get 25% off your first three months. Um, so all you have to do is sign up and use the promo code start here and you'll get 25% off your first three months. It's an absolutely amazing deal. So if you are kind of nervous about trying it and want to try it, see what it's all about and get a discount, I think this is the perfect opportunity. For those of you that don't know what Paper Pumpkin is, I probably should have started with that. <laughs> um, essentially it's this cute little orange box that comes to your house every month and inside is an all-inclusive card kit so you get a, a brand new card kit every single month that has enough supplies to make um i, I think it's usually like eight product uh, projects and um, all of the supplies come to you, including ink, you get a block when you first sign up. So you literally have everything you need inside this box to make every single project. And it's awesome. It's great for people that aren't super into crafting or are just starting to get into the world of stamping because you get to kind of um, try it out without really investing much into it. But it's also great for people like myself who craft all the time and are super into stamping and demonstrators and that kind of thing because we get variety. You get something new every single month so you don't get stuck in the same rut. That's what I like about it. You really can um, do new projects constantly without really having to think about it because they send everything right to you and they're always super adorable. So I've seen some people, um, some spoilers on this one. So I'm super excited about this one. But anyways, that's what Paper Pumpkin is. So we have our little Stampin' Spot. The color for this month is Soft Suede. I'm actually gonna go grab my full size ink pad here in one second, um, just cause I find that's easier to use. And I like to throw these into, um, uh, what was I gonna say? Into uh, customer orders or goodie bags every once in a while, just as like a little thank you, a little present. Um, so I like to keep these. And then we have our stamp set, which is super adorable. I don't know if you guys can see some of the sentiments and maybe you have an idea as to what the theme is for this month. And then out of the tissue paper, da -da -da -da, we have our project, which is donut themed. So stinking cute. So this one is called Sprinkled With Love. And when you open this up, here through the plastic you like I said you get everything you need to make all of the projects and a lot of times I end up with spare materials even when I make everything um, if you watched my craft room tour you saw that I um, keep all of my extras just in a little bin so that I can put more projects together and um, all kinds of fun stuff so this is everything you get it comes with this piece of cardboard, so it's always nice and protected. I've never had any issues with my um, products coming to me damaged or anything, so I think that's um, a huge thing as well. You don't want things coming to you in a bad condition. So you have all of your materials here. And then at the very bottom, or on the front, I should say, they give you this little packet um, of instructions. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything kind of laid out here. I'm gonna grab my full-size ink pad and then I will be right back. Okay, so I have all of my materials off to the side over here. I don't know, you guys may be able to see some stuff, but I'm just gonna bring stuff in as we're using it. Um, so I have everything and then I have my instructions set up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of, we'll walk through these and make these cards together. 
So the first step says to stamp the banner and the pink frosting piece. So let's grab a little banner. So we shall use, I think we're gonna use a blue banner here. And this is an awesome too because all of the pieces come ready for you to go ahead and just assemble and go. Um, it's absolutely amazing. I really, really love Paper Pumpkin. Paper Pumpkin, I used to do, um, I used to do it like religiously. Every single month I would do Paper Pumpkin and it was just awesome. And then I used to do um, some videos showing you guys some like alternative projects and stuff. And I just kind of got out of the swing of things. I was making projects um, here and there, but I, um, I just, I honestly, got, I don't want to say I got lazy with it, but I kind of did. Um, so anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy this enough rambling. So I'm going to use the, I love you a whole bunch. Get it. <laughs> so we have our soft suede ink here and I'm just going to ink this up and stamp it down right here on our little blue banner. There you go. And then we're going to stamp on the pink frosting piece, which is this right here. And you can always refer to the pictures on the front to see what exactly you're doing. So um, we just stamped the, uh, the banner for this card, and then we'll be doing the uh, stamping on this pink piece for this card right here. And you don't have to follow the instructions, obviously. You can do whatever you wanna do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make them the way that they have them made, just for showing sake. But um, you obviously don't have to do that. So I'm using, this is the D block, and if you just, this is the block that you get when you sign up. If you turn it, um, it fits just perfectly on there. And we're just gonna stamper right about there, I think. So this one, I'm gonna, I'm doing this backwards. <laughs> so bear with me and then I will tell you what it says. There's one. Let me just take this off, set her off to the side. And here is two. I think I'm also gonna make some um, alternative cards and those will be up on my blog. Uh, so you guys can go and check those out. Okay, so we've done that. I'm gonna put my ink away just for a moment so I don't stick my hand in it like I usually do. So now it says adhere frosting sticker to vanilla layer and trim frosting out of the center. So we have our vanilla layer here and then we have this frosting sticker. So stinking cute. So let's just peel this off. Dun, 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 dun. Any day now, Lindsay, there we go. Okay. So we have this frosting sticker and now if I put this down like this and then just go with my finger along it. I don't think I did that very well. No, I didn't do that very well. Let's see how easy it is. Oh yeah, you can absolutely pick this up and move it. So if you don't get it right the first time like I did not do, <laughs> you can do it again. I think this is actually the center piece. So let's see if this works a little bit better. Maybe, maybe not, who knows. It's a donut, so they're all gonna be different anyways, right, right? I mean, that looks a little bit better. I don't know why I can't get this. Maybe, maybe this is what we're supposed to do. Maybe I'm making it way more complicated than I need to. The other fun part about doing paper pumpkin videos is that you guys get to see how many times I mess up before I figure out how to do a project, which is always fun. Let's try starting on one end and making our way down. Maybe I was just making it way more complicated than it really needed to be. I think that's what I was doing. <laughs> 
that's so much easier and it worked perfectly. So now I'm just gonna take my little scissors here and I'm just going to snip on the inside of the donut because we wanna remove these little lines in here. So let me just do a couple more snips and we should be good. Perfect, perfect. Okay, let's get rid of that. Adhere frosting layers to donut cards using adhesive dots with the seam of the cards at the top. So, these are the donut cards. So we're gonna need two of these. And I'm assuming we just fold these in half, just like so. So this is our donut and then this is our frosting. Super stinking adorable, oh, I cannot stand it. So they do always include these um, adhesive dots for you to use to uh, put your projects together. This is the one thing that I would recommend getting that's not included in the kit. Pick up some snail adhesive and use that to make your projects. It's so much easier and it lasts, um, in my opinion, it, the projects last longer and it's just way easier than sticking down um, little glue dots every single, um, all over the place and then you have to peel up those pieces, the backings and no, just get yourself some snail. It's not that expensive and um, you'll be good to go, I promise. So much easier, so much faster. I find it's more enjoyable. This is like my paper pumpkin is really my time where I get to kind of just do my own thing and play around and that kind of thing. Um, so I like it to be really easy to do, very, very, very enjoyable, nothing too crazy or um, hard. And I find that having to use the adhesive or the uh, glue dots, I just don't like that. I don't find it enjoyable. I don't know. No, 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 no. Just pick yourself up some snail. Like I said, it's not that expensive. I think it's like less than five dollars. Pick yourself up some, pick up, pick yourself up some of that, and you'll be good to go. Anyways, okay. So now that we've done a lot, it says decorate the pink donut with pearls, sequin stickers, and twine. Adhere banner to vanilla cardstock using dimensionals. Add sequin stickers. So you guys know that I'm horrible at tying twine, but let's give it a shot see how it goes. Let's make ourselves a nice little bow like the sample picture has. Let's see how many times it takes me to try to tie a bow. Eh, eh, I may not be doing so bad. I'm gonna jinx myself, but I may be off to a relatively decent start. Perfect. Look at that, I did that so easily. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say, the donut says, may your day be sprinkled with love. How adorable. Okay, so this I am going to use one of these little glue dots for, and I'm gonna take my poker tool here and I'm gonna take the backing off, or not. I want to get the adhesive off, and I'm just gonna kind of roll it up. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but I'm just rolling it up, and then I'm gonna stick it down onto my card and then stick my bow on top of that. That's how I find um, is the easiest to adhere bows that you make like that. And then you can trim your edges so that it's not super crazy and out there. So those glue dots are good for something. I like using our regular glue dots that come on the roll because they don't have those backings. I really do think it's the backings that I don't like because it, um. It takes so long to take all of those little paper backings off of, and that, like I said, that's just not fun for me. Okay, what did I do with those stickers? Oh, they're right here in front of my face. Ha, ha, ha. So we have these little pearls here, and again, I think I'm gonna use my poker tool to assist in putting them on. Put one right there. These are just super cute. I love this size of pearl because it's perfect for these little accent-y kinds of things. Let's take some of these sequin stickers and, whoops, I got one stuck to my finger. Do, 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 do. There we go. We'll put some of these on there just to give it some dimension. 
Oh, come on, little guy. I don't want to waste you. I'm all about not wasting things, especially good um, accessories, embellishments. That's the word I was looking for. Well, I'm not about wasting those. One more right about there. So stinking cute. Oh, I love these so much. So there's our first one. Our second one, we are going to take the, our banner here um, and we're gonna adhere it on the front. So what you can do and what I think I'm going to do obviously as I do it is if you just wiggle the paper a little bit, you can give it some, um, some movement. I don't know if how well you guys are gonna be able to see that right this second, but as soon as I adhere it down, you should be able to. So I just wiggled it around. I'm gonna take my dimensionals. And again, uh, like I was telling you, you could literally get everything. It comes with dimensionals, so you don't even have to get those. I just trimmed my nails, so now they're, it's really hard to get dimensional backings off. Okay, and then because I've wiggled it, I'm just gonna kind of do a little bit of this and stick it down just like that. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe if I move it around some, you'll be able to see, but that just gives it a little bit more dimension um, instead of it just being flat on the card like that. You could do it flat, I think that's fine, but I like adding a little bit more dimension just like that. Um, okay, and then it says to also add some of these sequin sprinkles to this donut so let's add some of these these are really cool um they're like thick and iridescent i'm liking these i wish we carried these in the annual catalog speaking of annual catalog haha <laughs> see what i did there i still have catalogs to send out so if you are looking to get your hands on our new annual catalog. I've already sent a bunch out, but I do still have some. Um, so if you want one, I would jump on it sooner rather than later, because I don't know, uh, depending on the demand, obviously, I might be purchasing some more, but I have quite a few. So um, anyways, if you want your our new annual catalog, here, let me just show you to give you a sneak peek. Ooh, so fancy. I can't show you inside yet, but so pretty. If you want that catalog sent to you completely free, it's all free of charge to you. Um, I pay for shipping, the catalog, all of that good stuff. Um, head over to my website, littlemooncreation.com and use the contact form and just let me know that you're interested and um, send me your address. If you don't send me your address, look out in your email because I will send you an email asking for your address because um, I just need that to be able to send you the catalog. So anyways, if you're interested in that, make sure you go and head over and um, let me know. Or you can leave a comment down below, do whatever you need to do. Just let me know somehow and I will get one sent out to you. <laughs> okay, so there is that one. So those are our two donut cards. So stinking adorable. I think I like this one more than I like the sprinkle one. That's just me, but adorable. But let's move on to the next project. So the next one is the circle card. So it says stamp a banner and flower centers. So this is something that I'm gonna look at the front to see what it's talking about. So we're using a white banner. So let me grab a white banner. And then we have our flowers over here. So how many are they using? Using three per card. So one, two, three. Okay, let me get my stamps ready. So this one we're using, you make me oh so very happy. Okay, okay. So let's stamp this first and then we can work on the flowers. So here's our little banner. Where's my stamp pad? Here it is, here it is. Just get this inked up. You make me oh so very happy. Adorable, actually, I didn't stamp that very well. Let's just flip it over. Remember, there are always two sides. Oh man, I just moved the camera. Hey, it's been a while since I've done that. I'm doing pretty well. Sorry for the shakiness. Anyways, as I was saying, is if you mess up, there's always two sides to every piece of paper, so you can redo it, it's not lost, okay? Set that off to the side before I do mess it up. And then there is this little, like a bunch of little dots. And that's gonna, whoa, what we're gonna use for the center of our flowers. So let me just 
get that stamp out of there. I'm just gonna line up my three little flowers here. Now, if you were making all of the projects all at once, you could obviously do this in mass and just stamp all of the flowers all at the same time, all of your banners all at the same time, but that one's not very pretty on that side. Oh man, well, we'll roll with it. Um, but I'm just doing one of each project just to give you guys an idea so you know how to put the projects together and um, all of that fun stuff. Okay, so we have our flowers, move those off to the side. With the seam at the top, tie twine around the front of the card base. I think I can do that. So these are the card bases. Super, super, super adorable. So it does show that we're gonna tie a bow at the end. So I'm gonna leave a quite a long um, tail over here. And then I'm just gonna wrap this a couple of times. Hang on, let me get it. There we go. Phew, that was hard. I think partially because I'm left-handed that I always have issues with things like this. You know, what can I say? Okay, and then we'll bring it over and snip it off right about there. We're gonna tie a bow on the front. Any second now. There we go. And I'm actually gonna tie a knot first just so I don't lose all of my twine where it currently is. This is super cute. I like just these card bases and this twine is actually really, really nice. I might have to see if there's some other projects I can use this with. I always, okay, so here's my dilemma. I love using this um, product that we get to, from Paper Pumpkin. I love using that in other projects. The thing that I have a hard time with is you guys know I don't like showing you product um, projects with products that you can't get. I just don't think it's fair to you guys to say, oh, look at this awesome thing that you can't make because you don't have those products. Like, that's just not cool. Um, I don't like that. I don't like when people do that to me. Like, oh, here, look at this fancy schmancy thing that you can't have because it's sold out. Like, that's not very nice. <laughs> um, so I always hate doing that, but I always have all of these ideas. So if you guys would like to see a couple of videos using products from Paper Pumpkin specifically, um, let me know and maybe I'll do some more redos. But anyways, um, okay. So now we're going to use adhesive dots to adhere the adhere two flowers slightly tucked under the banner. Add a third flower with dimensionals overlapping the banner. Okay. So let's place... Whoa, 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 whoa. So let's place our banner like right here. Okay, I'm gonna move that out the way. Place our banner like right there and then we're gonna put a flower like right about there. And another flower. These tails got to go. Another flower, sure, right there. Okay. And then we're gonna adhere our banner down. Okay. It doesn't really say how they adhered the banner down. I'm just gonna use some regular snail, see how that does. Might as well, why not, right? Right, and then our last little flower, we're gonna use a dimensional, it says, to adhere it. Kind of overlapping this one over here. Let me fix my little bow here. I'm gonna trim these tails because they are out of control. Fold our card. And there you go, that one's super cute. I mean, I think mine turned out a little bit different than the demonstration project, but I think it's adorable. Absolutely cute. Okay, so the other thing that you get in the kit 
are these little bags and these are to be like the envelopes kind of for your projects. So what these come with as well are um, some of these stickers and you basically just use, you can stamp um, the with love and for you on here and then what you'll end up doing is stick your little project in the envelope in the little bag close it up and then put your sticker on there and it's your little envelope super stinking adorable i'm not going to do that because i want to write in these and use them before i put them in the envelopes but that's essentially the use um these are cute bags you could use these for a ton of different things if you didn't want to use them for envelopes honestly um you get 12 probably one two three four five six seven eight nine nine one two three four five six seven seven, eight, nine. You get nine, apparently. I don't know how to count. Of course, my camera stopped recording. Anyways, I was gonna end, <laughs> I was gonna end, the, ah, I'm knocking the camera again. Oh my gosh, I'm ruining everything. <laughs> okay, that just really means it's time for me to go. So um, those are our projects for today here. Let me line all of these up. We'll leave these over here. So stinking adorable. I absolutely love these projects. Again, if you are interested in getting your own paper pumpkin, right now is the best time to sign up. Um, you can head over to my coordinating blog post. It's down below. I'll have all of the information there and a link to directly go and sign up. Um, if you are a new Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you will get 25% 25, 25 off your first three months by using the code start here. So Again, all of the information will be down below in the blog post. Um, head over there, it'll tell you everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I wanted to mention one last time, if you're interested in getting a copy of the new catalog, make sure you head over to my website as well and um, let me know you want a copy. I'll send one right out to you. They're actually, I'm sending them in these super cute hot pink bubble mailers so that you're super excited when you get it at home. I'm super, super duper excited. I can't even tell you guys. So anyways, I hope you guys had a super great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.